So we all know between a hard drive and SSD that there's pros and cons between each one of these. But in my opinion, I'm not even somebody who's super technical from this perspective. I'm not like a hardware person. But funny enough, even I have some experience in this specific field, which is so funny. I've taken apart a few of my products. I've replaced hard drives with SSDs. And I've always loved the fact that SSDs are so much faster and so much smoother. And I feel like my device just runs a lot better on an SSD over a hard drive. But let's go and see what the, some of the advantages and disadvantages are between a hard drive and an SSD. Now, shout out to PC Mag. They made a beautiful article about this. But I also have some experience in this too, if I'm being honest. Now, I've owned, for example, my iMac, my 5K iMac from 2015, and that had a hard drive in it. And it wasn't even a fusion drive, it was just straight the hard drive. And I had a decent time with it, but it was either between upgrading the SSD or upgrading the hard drive to an SSD or buying a 2017 or 2019 iMac with, you know, the SSD built in. I found the way to do it. I you know, watched a tutorial. It was super difficult, but I was able to successfully switch my hard drive to an SSD and I was actually able to get a little bit of extra time with my, you know, iMac because it just felt that much smoother and faster. So that was something that was really cool. I did the same exact thing with my MacBook as well. However, I will tell you, there are some advantages for a hard drive. One of the biggest advantages for a device like, you know, whatever device you're going to buy that has a hard drive in it is that you can buy a lot more storage for the dollar value than an SSD. So, you know, PC Mag kind of mentions here that if you wanted to go ahead, basically a one terabyte internal 2.5 inch hard drive costs between $40 and $60. With an SSD, it's going to be about $80. So you're actually looking to be about like twice the amount of cost for an SSD than a hard drive. So that might be something to kind of keep in mind in the back of your head. That if you're wanting to go ahead and save the most amount of storage, or you know, if you want to save the most amount of dollar value, something like an, a hard drive might make a little bit more sense than something like an SSD in some situations. However, with that extra cost with an SSD, you are getting a better, more reliable storage system. So with an SSD, you have to remember that these types of devices are a lot more secure than an you know, actual hard drive. They boot faster than a hard drive. They actually allow your applications to run faster. You're able to transfer files much faster than a hard drive. And you know, ultimately, no matter what you're going to be doing, the SSD is where you're going to be able to basically kind of maximize your you know, you know, experience with. It's a faster, more speedier system and more you know, speedier drive. And that's why those types of drives are kind of standard now, or they're at least becoming more standard because they're just that much faster. You can even see this in gaming consoles. If you take a look at like the Xbox One or the PlayStation 4, and if you compare boot times or app game loading speeds compared to the PlayStation 5s or the Xbox, you know, Series X's, S's, again, with the, you know, there's so many different things, there's CPU and GPUs, so many different things like that, that, you know, improve the speed as well. But a lot of it is the SSDs that are now inside of these new, newer consoles. Also, from the situation that I've heard as well, the SSD, because there's no moving parts inside of it, there's not like a spinning thing inside, there's no, there's nothing really making noise in it, you, there's less parts for the SSD to break. Now, things can happen, you can spill water on it and it doesn't really matter, but most, you know, hard drives over time probably could experience more hardware failure than an SSD, especially when you have a spinning disk inside of it, a hard drive is prone to failure. An SSD, it's much, much harder for those things to break. Again, things can happen. You can literally factory, you can just wipe your SSD and probably have it not working anymore with a click of a button, but that can happen with either one. Now, I've never actually had either one of these fail on me ever before, but from what I've heard, SSDs could probably be a much more reliable system than hard drives as well. Now, the biggest thing that I've heard so far that I've personally experienced is that SSDs are more expensive. That's just kind of what happens. You're spending more money on an SSD, but you're getting a much more powerful device and a much more powerful storage system. So in my opinion, it kind of just makes sense to go down that road of an SSD rather than a hard drive. So to kind of sum it up, I will definitely tell you, the SSDs are much better systems to have than your hard drives. I think hard drives are great and they do a lot of stuff, but I think when it comes down to it, the, hard, the SSD, the solid state drives are so much better and they make way more sense than the hard drive side of things. So in terms of that, that kind of covers it up there. If you have any other thoughts or questions, let me know in the comment section below. Hit the like button, that would mean so much, but definitely hit that subscribe button. More importantly than everything else, I love every single one of you guys. Hopefully I'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace out till then.